the Rio Olympics will be broadcast to some people at 8K resolution worldwide. 8K is 7,680 by 4,320 pixels. It's codenamed Super High Vision. NHK, the same company that was at the forefront of high definition video and 4K video broadcasting, will be recording select games with their 8K resolution cameras. Parts of the 2012 London Olympics were also recorded at 8K, but they weren't broadcast, at least not over satellite. They now had that capability to not only broadcast over satellite, but broadcast worldwide on satellites. I think it's pretty cool. As much of a video file as I am, though, the benefits of 4K and 8K aren't really realized unless you have a screen that's about 70 inches or larger, and you also need to sit pretty close to it to notice the difference between 1080p and 4K, let alone 8K, which I haven't seen personally. Now, 4K looks nice for other reasons, which really they should start marketing more, and that is high dynamic range and a larger color gamut. Those are actually big benefits that... I laugh at 4K resolution, but higher dynamic range is something that um, if you ever watch sports and it's an outdoor game in the sun, especially, you'll notice that the shadows and where the sun is, the highlights, a lot of times the area where the sun is, is overexposed where people are, are brighter than they look in reality. And then the shadows are darker than they really are in real life. Well, the high dynamic range will allow for a lot more uh, luminosity, I believe is the name of the word, for that to happen so that you can actually have a perfectly exposed full field where the shadows have details, where the sunny areas have details, and that is pretty effing cool. The other thing that 4K broadcasting is going to bring is the adoption of 1080 60p broadcasting. Now, as funny as it sounds, I think that's actually a bigger deal than 4K, because 4K is not very easy to see, but 1080 60p will be a help over 1080i broadcasting. You know, 60p, you can get better slow motion from that. And also, what do we have? Um, you know, maybe true 1080p 24 frames per second video broadcasting as well, which will offer better video quality. Uh, so yeah, we have some cool things coming out in the future for television But as of right now, I don't think 8K is, they're talking about 2020 being when it's going to start coming to consumers, but uh, I'm estimating more around the year 2030 for it to maybe be adopted for real. But even then, I don't think people are going to see the benefits. But what will happen is they're going to stop selling 4K televisions like they're stopping the sales of 720 and 1080p televisions which will force people to buy 8K televisions. But anyway, you know, we don't have the bandwidth or the storage capacity right now for 8K. Now, my computer's old in computer years, but I can tell you that from a video editing standpoint, dealing with 1080p video is a lot easier than dealing with 4K, 8K, let alone H.265 HEVC video. Anyway, this is all technical stuff that a lot of you probably don't even care about. But I think it's cool that we are advancing in technology, and I think 8K will pretty much be the end-all, be-all, because, I mean, at that point... (laughs) At that point, I mean, I I understand you can, like, crop the video, and, and that's really where I think it'll come in handy, is with video cropping, security surveillance... And in sports, they like to zoom in on portions of the screen. You know, I think that's a pretty cool thing they're doing with 4K already. So you can really zoom in and see like the individual grains of the grass blades (laughs) or something like that. I don't really know. But I do see benefits of uh, recording with 8K and then cropping to 1080p. But as far as 8K broadcasting to consumers... 2030 is probably the earliest that's realistically going to happen.